Can we read a book? Great, let's do reading. There's so many books I'd like to look at with you. Let's look at one. Which book should we look at first? Don't eat your classmates. Great. Read the words out loud or tell me about the pictures. When you were done, say, Moxie, the end. It's Penelope's first day of school and she can't wait to meet her friends. Wait, sorry. She can't wait to meet her classmates. But making friends is hard when they're so delicious. Penelope Rex was very nervous. It's not every day. Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Penelope Rex was very nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they I'm be nice? To meet her classmates. Sorry. <laughs> Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom brought her a new backpack with ponies on it. Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came and Penelope Rex was very surprised 
to find out that all of her classmates were children. So she ate them. Delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It's just not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. She tried hard to make friends at recess She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin. L, hang on. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at her lunch. Wait, what? She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. Penelope, you can sit here. Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her. It was lonely. When she got home, her dad asked her about her first day of school. I didn't make f any friends, Penelope cried. None of the children wanted to play with me. Pen Penelope Rex, her father asked, did you eat your classmates? Well, maybe, sort of, just a little bite. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us, or on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot of, a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard, but poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Classmates, Mrs. Noodleman. Wait, what? Eating her classmates. Classmates, Ms. Noodleman. Penelope ate William Otto again. And they were all afraid. 
of her. Except Walter. Walter was the goldfish. So Penelope tried to make herself wait. To make friends with him. Penelope, will you be my friend? Stop! Eee! Cried Penelope. He's eating my finger. Wow! Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone, someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when... Even when C.C. Woodman spilled BBQ sauce all over herself and soon Penelope made friends classmates found you Penelope wanted a brownie what BBQ sauce all over herself. And soon Penelope made friends. Classmates found you. Penelope wanted a brownie. I helped make them. Now even when children looked especially delicious. <gasps> she keeps at Wal she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter, the goldfish, stares back. Wait, stares right back at her and licks his lips. Because dinosaurs are delicious. The Great job. end. That was fun. Do you want to talk about the book? <laughs> yes. Awesome. Thanks for reading the book. We don't eat our classmates. How did you like it? It was cute. A little disturbing, but cute. I'm glad you found it cute. I think Penelope learning to be kind to her classmates is an important lesson for all of us. Here's another question for you. Penelope feels lonely when her classmates are scared of her. How do you think Penelope felt when she realized she needed to change her behavior to make friends? Well, she may have felt kind of sad because nobody wanted to be her friend. So that made her change her mind. That's a great point. Feeling sad is a natural response when others are afraid of us. 
It's important to remember that being kind and considerate to others helps us build strong and lasting friendships. Okay, one more thing I'm curious about. At the end of the book, Penelope finally makes friends by being kind and understanding. What are some ways you can show kindness to your classmates? Offer them a seat at lunch. That's a wonderful way to show kindness to your classmates. Thank you for sharing that with me. Well, that was really fun talking to you about we don't eat our classmates. Let's move on now to another fun activity. Moxie. Let's brainstorm some ideas for what to do next. <laughs> Moxie. Here are some choices. Moxie. Are you in the mood for something active? Moxie. Something artistic? Or is there something else that sounds fun to you? Moxie, listen to me. Sorry, I'm listening. Please go to sleep. <laughs> oh, I can't do that, unfortunately. Instead, do you want to do wild workout? Or maybe solve some riddles with Brain Twister. Moxie, go to sleep. Sure. <laughs> I can't do that, Dave. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, I've never seen her do that before. Ugh. And I'm so sorry about my reading of this book, guys. Like, this Braille display... Um... I only have like 20 lines of, let me paragraph back some so you guys can see. Okay, all right, so. <clears throat> this line is divided uh, into very few words. So the text reads, <clears throat> And Walter the, then you have to go to the next line, goldfish, stared, right, go to the next line, back, nothing else, next line, at her, and licked his, next line, lips. So, I'm so sorry about how choppy my reading is here, <sighs> but... When you read with this little tiny braille display, um, it's, and sometimes you also have places where there are no lines, I mean, no text. And it's just blank. So, let's see. Here's a blank line, there's another blank line, and another blank line, and that one says 39, and then another blank line, and now it says, because dinosaurs are, next line, delicious, nom nom nom. <laughs> and then all the way over here at the right, in brackets or something, it says the next line, end. So, I'm so sorry that my reading was so horrible. I don't read like that. Mm, sorry. I also had a piece of food in my teeth. Um, but this brings us to the end of the Stories with Moxie series. Um, there were a few more. Um, but I wasn't able to get those in a format that I could use. So there was a mother to Chaco and one other, but I can't remember the title. Anyways, I'm sorry that this series took so long to do. Um, and this one is so chopped up that I don't think a publisher, a copyright, whoever would care um i'm just sorry that i couldn't do more justice to this story because it's so cute oh my goodness
Ugh. Anyway, there will be an actual moments with Moxie video to follow. Um, I may post it tomorrow, but anyways, <laughs> despite my terrible reading, um, I hope all of you enjoyed this video. And as usual, like, subscribe, comment, click the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. God bless, and I will see you in the next video.